Saturday marks 20 years since the September 11th terror attacks, and with this date comes a flood of memories and emotions about the attacks that claim nearly 3,000 lives. CBS 4's Elise Preston spoke with the widow of a New York City firefighter who's remembered as a hero, husband, and father. One of the things I miss the most is just laying in bed with my head on his shoulder, just talking away. Ann Van Hines' husband was a New York City firefighter, one of the 343 FDNY responders who died in the attack on the World Trade Center. Now when I look at these names, I, I know their family members. For Bruce Van Hines, being a firefighter was a childhood dream. Squad 41 lost everyone on duty that day. They lost all six firefighters. They went into building two and got pretty high up, started to bring civilians down, and then they were killed in the collapse. When was the last time you spoke to Bruce? The last time I saw Bruce was Sunday, September 9th. He said, I'm, um, I'm blessed. And I said, why? He said, because I'm married to Miss Ann. Now, the grandmother of three volunteers at the 9-11 Tribute Museum, giving more than 500 tours where Bruce died a hero. But the one day she never visits the site is the September 11th anniversary. I don't know that I can take on the collective grief of 3,000 people. 20 years ago, Joan Master Polo lived just a block west of the towers. She watched the attacks from her office window. I saw both towers get struck by the planes. Um, I was never able to make it back home. As a volunteer for the Tribute Museum, she shares stories of both the horrors and humanity of the day. We had over 500,000 people come here after 9-11 with only one objective. They wanted to help. That support from both loved ones and strangers has helped Van Hine carry on as she honors her husband's memory and makes sure we never forget. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York.